All right, GameSpot, you son of a bitch. You deleted all my tweet replies on your goddamn news story, and I think I was making valid points. What the fuck? You goddamn sons of bitches. It's like you don't even care. It's like you have an audience, but you're like, fuck up. We don't want criticism. That's you guys. That's what you sound like, you son of a bitch. So it's Saturday, I got a little bit of gaming news for you guys, and it's involving the uh, Xbox One X. Um, and uh, it's frame rate issues, for the most part. And uh, GameSpot's goddamn news article on how they don't give a shit about people like their fans, like me. And when they, they tweet stuff, because they get upset because people don't read articles, and they just read headlines. And then they spout a bunch of bullshit from their mouths, and then GameSpot doesn't do anything to rebuttal. And so they just let a bunch of idiots read their articles without actually reading the article. And then here I am, fucking being a social justice warrior, and nobody wants to give me a trophy. And I think I deserve one. So, fuck you, GameSpot, you son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, GameSpot. It's not what I didn't mean it. I'm still a fan. I'm still... I just... I just wanted you to rework the title of your goddamn article. I, I think it was a very comprehensive article. I have to say that. But I think your title is a little misleading. And I think that uh, because you don't give a shit about the title, uh, people also don't seem to give a shit about reading the article because they're fucking stupid. And, uh, yeah. And then they start spewing, uh, spewing a bunch of bullshit about how much they hate Xbox One X, even though two weeks ago they probably were like, Yeah, Xbox One X, bro! I can't wait to get that! 60, 64K! 4K60, right, bro! It's gonna be so cool! But then they don't even fucking read the article when... It's not even, it's really not the Xbox's fault. Uh, I'll get to the point here at some point. Just listen to my rant, you son of a bitch. Don't even fucking, you listen to what I'm saying. You come to these videos to listen to what I'm saying first. And then we get to the news story. And by then you've already stopped watching. And I don't care. So, the title of the article was the Xbox One X Performance Detailed. Native 4K proved difficult for some games. Which everybody else interpreted as... Xbox One X can't achieve 4K 60. I don't know how. I mean, really, the title doesn't say that, but it is a little bit misleading. You're saying that the, the performance is detailed. Ooh, so the, the report's finally out about the Xbox One X's report, or performance report. Native 4K proved difficult for some games. So it's kind of like, it's not the game's fault, it's the Xbox's. So I can see how that gets misinterpreted. It only takes one person, and in the comment section, of a, of a goddamn news story to make a huge difference and you get a bunch of dumbass people following him for some reason and, and it, whatever he says get, or she says gets stated as fact even though it's not true and, and the article was comprehensive enough I, I thought it was good enough that it highlighted that there are issues with the games and if you just read the fucking articles you fucking dumb pieces of shit you would have known that but it said a bunch of people got really upset that the Xbox One X was going to be a failure. And that's not the case. It's not out yet. We don't know what's going to be like. But I do know, and I've known this for a while, that 4K60 for video games is not really all that achievable just yet. It's so close. We're so close. We got amazing movies and DVDs out right now that on an HDR TV or a 4K TV, they, they, look, they look fucking amazing. Um, and there is a difference between HDR and 4K. HDR is kind of like stretched 1080p made to look like 4K. Uh, really more like better contrast and more vibrant colors that really kind of highlight features in a, in a movie or even a video game where 4K is a better resolution altogether. It's completely different. And at 60 frames per second, a better res resolution can look kind of goofy if you're watching a movie. It does. It actually looks kind of weird. A great example of that was, remember The Hobbit? Remember The Hobbit movie that came out? Um, the first one was at 60 frames per second if you went to like certain theaters, and it looked fucking weird. It, it kind of looked like you were watching a play, like a school play happening, or, or like a live performance. It looked really weird. So in the article, just kind of put it out there, the very first paragraph says, one thing is proved for certain it's incredibly difficult for games to run 4K at 60 frames per second. As a consequence, we're likely to see graphically demanding games use dynamic resolution or checkboarding techniques to achieve higher resolutions, as is the case with the PlayStation 4 Pro. Not every game will run full native 4K, and fewer games will do so at 60 frames per second. 
It's the games. We're not there yet. Just to clarify, if you didn't read the article, you wouldn't have known that, and you would have completely misinterpreted it, and you would have read the comments and gone, okay, this idiot didn't read it either, but what he's saying is fact. Just It doesn't make any sense. The GameSpot literally pu published the study and then gave their quote on this, uh, on, on, the act on what actually happened. The games aren't quite there yet. Um, it says right here... Um, Test results do not name the specific games outright either. They kind of just put like Title A, like we have ReCore, Title B is Forza Motorsport 7, Title C is Gears of War 4, uh, Halo Wars 2, Star Wars Battlefront. Um, and basically that we should expect games that run at 900p and 720p on the standard hardware to use dynamic resolution or checkboarding as a 4K solution on the Xbox One X ultimately. So if the game is produced not at 4K natively, it's not going to run native 4K. It's going to it's going to try to stretch its resolution to achieve 4K, but it's not going to be 4K, so don't expect it to be. But the hardware is going to do its job. It's going to it's going to stretch that resolution to make it look as good as possible. Just like Phil Spencer said that games will look on will play amazing on the original Xbox One and the Xbox One S, but they will look better and, and play better on the Xbox One X because it has better hardware. So, once again, if you're the fucking moron that didn't read this fucking article, you wouldn't have known that and you would have been one of the idiots in the comment section that uh, GameSpot was so gracious enough to uh, delete my comments on. Um, which I thought was hilarious. And, and I didn't even say anything bad. I, I'm, this is worse than my video. I, I get so irritated by this. I love journalism. I care a lot about it. I know that maybe reworking the title wouldn't really have changed a whole lot because headliners are going to be headliners. But it seems like now in this day and age, we have to adapt as journalists in some degree to get our story across in the headline. Somehow. So, somehow you have to give just enough information in the headline so that people don't inherently sound like idiots in the comment section of a story when they don't read the article because so many people don't read the articles. The last thing uh, on the article it said it shouldn't be a surprise that 900p and 720p titles take a performance hit when jumping to 4k in light of how demanding the task is. So don't be surprised that a game like Battlefront um, or you know even Battlefront 2 which I think only runs at like 720p naturally because it's a you know it's a multiplayer first person shooter it's really hard to get that kind of resolution it's not going to be 4k and it's certainly not going to run 60 frames per second i'm disappointed that a game like destiny 2 which should have been the game that came back and kind of revived the series because the first one was such it was kind of like the fable of first person mmos it was just kind of like they they lied a lot and the game wasn't really what it was supposed to be when it first came out it's much better now but in light of all that, you would think they'd want to release a perfect game at like 4K 60 or something close to it, but they're not even going to do that. It, they're going to—they say it's 4K, but it's 30 frames per second. That actually might look better, you know. 4K 60, like I've been saying in this whole video, I don't even know if it's actually going to look good. I really don't know. It could look really goofy. We're talking about 3D modeling here in a game with movement and you know it, it's probably gonna get blurry and it's gonna look weird to me in my opinion um, I think that during cutscenes it might look fantastic but when you're talking about in-game uh, footage I think that's just gonna look really weird <laughs> I don't know that's up to you guys you tell me down in the comment section what you guys think um, are you excited about the Xbox One X are you disappointed that not every game is going to run at 4k 60 or do you not really care? Are you going to get the system anyway? You guys tell me down in the comment section. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is the Saturday video. I will be back on Wednesday. And I'm going to try and uh, put do some Let's Plays for Monday. Uh, I'm not quite there yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell happened to my Twitch channel. Um, but I, I'm planning on doing my first Let's Play on Ori and the Blind Forest. And, uh, and maybe some other titles from there. You guys leave some suggestions in the comment section as well. What games you'd like to see me play. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Ragdolls. Um, yeah. And that's everything you need to know about the Xbox One X. And stop headlining, goddammit.
Just read the article. All you have to do is click on it. It takes like one second. You click on it, and then it opens up, and, and there's tons of words. There's usually like a lot of words, and you can read all those words. And then when you read them, you comprehend them. And then you can go back to the comment section and say, wow, I was totally wrong. Before I opened my mouth and said a bunch of dumb shit, I was going to be totally wrong. But now that I read that article, I'm not wrong anymore. I know exactly what I'm talking about. But, you know, that's up to you. I ultimately, it's up to you. There's nothing I can do about it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And, uh, go to, go to sleep.